Pokemon is well known for its rock paper scissors system applied to the game mechanics. Fire beats grass, grass beats water, and water destroys fire. A vicious cycle that tries to add some sort of balance to prevent any one typing just dominating the game. Some of them are pretty obvious such as fire, melting ice. But what about fighting type being super effective against steel? Have you ever Falcon tried punching a solid punch. block of steel? It just doesn't make any sense. Or does it? When we think of Pokemon Logic, well, it seems that they're not always in the right track. So many people have asked this question of how a fighting Pokemon is able to break through solid rocks, and apparently solid steel as well. Our processing minds would simply say, this does not compute, I would break my hand. Some might claim it was just added to keep the balance. Others that fighting Pokemon have enough power to break through ice, rock, and steel. And yet, when they see a tiny little Pidgey start flapping its wings, they freak out. Thank you, Pokemon Logic. You have made me even more confused. But believe it or not, I feel that in the case of fighting Pokemon overpowering steel, it may be a reference to a real-life process in our world. Let's move on to the world of sheet metal working. We humans have been working with steel since the dawn of time. And back in the good old days, we just used to drop it in fire, beat the crap out of it, and then dip it in some oil, and voila! we got ourselves a Honage, which would explain why our little buddy here is not so fun to fire. But if we were to move to modern times, we have come up with different ways of cutting metal, and forming it to make all sort of contraptions. We have torching, where we use a flame concentrated to a point so we melt steel and cut through it. What about water jets? These machines use high pressurized water to cut through solid steel. And we have my favorites as well, lasers. These machines generate a tiny laser beam about eight thousandths of an inch thick that can cut through various types of metal very precisely. And finally, cutting steel by punching it. Yes, you heard me right. I said punching it. Let's take a look at two metal processing machines here. First, a shear. This machine is cut through steel by using shear force to overcome a metal's ultimate shear strength, which is the point when metal simply breaks for being under so much pressure. Because steel is malleable, this machine uses two tools to avoid getting deformities, a bottom blade and a top punch. Almost like scissors, but the blades are separated, and one of them just drops with massive force. I guess you can think of a guillotine when you think of shears, except that the top blade is not really sharp. It's the amount of pressure applied that breaks the metal. The final machine I want to talk to you guys about is a punch press. This form of cutting steel is still used widely today by many industries. The idea is the same as a shear, except that you have a turret with many different tools that have different shapes, such as circles, rectangles, and up rounds. To cut through the steel, a combination of two tools is used. A bottom die with the same shape and a little bit of clearance, and the top punch that has the same shape you want. When the machine is put into action, either hydraulics or an electric motor drops a hammer on the punch with a massive amount of force that simply punches a hole into the metal. It's the same idea as a paper hole puncher, except on an industrial level with enough force to punch through steel and many other metals. Going back to the Pokemon world, I believe this is the reason why Game Freak decided that someone like Himmochan can overpower steel type, and they use Pokedex entries to let us know the amount of force this guy's pack. For instance, in Pokemon Yellow, Hitmonchan's Pokedex entry states, Punches in corkscrew fashion. It can punch its way through a concrete wall in the same way as a drill. Yikes. And for those that will still argue that these Pokemon are made of just muscles and bones, let's take a look at Machoke's Ruby Pokedex entry. Machoke's thoroughly toned muscles possesses the hardness of steel. This Pokemon has so much strength, it can easily hold aloft a sumo wrestler in just one finger and Gordo will beat the crap out of you with steel itself. There you have it guys, now we know that all these Pokemon sure pack a punch. I think I used the word punch too much. Don't forget to leave a comment and a like. Thanks so much for watching my silly Pokemon videos. Looks like my shift is over, so it's time for me to punch out. Peace.